Hey guys, what's up? Shadowlands back for another video. Today I wanted to go over something and turn a video out of something that got posted on Facebook. Megan Love posed the question the other day, if you had to use one setup on one map for the rest of your combat arms life, what would it be? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, read these, and sort of give a really quick review over them to say like what I think, what kind of setup it is, what it would be useful for, all that kind of stuff. So Megan herself says she would play an oil rig with a G36E, USPSE, M9 knife, M69 HE frag, and a TPG1. That's a very solid setup. It's useful for a, it's useful for a lot of different setups. Um, you would excel at long range, obviously. You have a TPG1 and a G36E, but you would also be quite good with quick scoping, and rushing would be fairly easy, although not as easy as if you had an S. SMG or something like that. Very solid setup, pretty decent for oil rig. Probably better for another map like Kill Creek though. Nick Edelin, uh, also known as Ramen Lover, would play on Kill Creek with a Scarl Black, a USPSE, a Tracker Knife, M69HE Grenade, and TPG1 Pro. This is almost the exact same setup as before. The TPG is still there, it's, uh, this time it's a Pro. Obviously the longer uh, magnification scope, higher magnification scope would be better on Kill Creek. The Scar L Black is sprayable, so it's a little bit more versatile than G36E, although not by a whole ton, and it is still very obviously useful on Kill Creek, and the Burst Fire is obviously helpful. The USPSE is obviously the same, so there's that as well. The Tracker Knife is just a Tracker Knife. The M69 HE Grenade makes rushing a little bit easier because you can clear out those wide areas at the top of the bases of Kill Creek a lot more easily than if you had a Frag Pack, so there's that as well. Overall, very solid setup for Kill Creek. Now, I personally say Kill Creek as well. I'd have a Recon Vest, a Shopka, a Nemexis Face Guard, and a 5th Anniversary Backpack, but not the Elite. I simply want the M417SB, the m 92 fs Elite, the Snake DSR-1, the Frag Pack, and a Tracker Knife. Tracker Knife, because Tracker Knife, Frag Pack, because I actually prefer it to the HE Nade, and I typically stay down in the Creek, and the Frag Pack is a little bit more useful, so you can cover more area in different directions. A little more versatile when you're trying to fight multiple enemies at once. Snake DSR just because it's fantastic for Kill Creek, and it's a DSR series weapon. The Silencer is obviously also helpful. The m 92 s Elite is only because I simply love the gun. It's fun to use and sort of abuse that fire rate bug. And then the M417SB simply because it is one of my very favorite NX rares in the game. And it works very, very well on Kill Creek. The extra five shots per mag definitely help when trying to take out a person long range. To kill your CA, I hope I pronounced your name right. He would play on oil rig with an elite backpack, his MSR as a primary, with a tracker, a, a tracker knife, a G18 Cobra, mines, a Declan F2000 Tactical, and a Viper's P90. So it sounds like this guy is going full-on spray noob. <laughs> no other way to say it, but it is a very effective setup. I mean, you're going to perform very well on most maps with that setup. You have a very solid assault rifle, SMG, and sniper. Although, at longer ranges on oil rig, you might be tanking with that MSR. Granted, it has a lot of ammo, so you should have the extra shots to take them out. Very fast spread recovery, and in my opinion, it is one of the best snipers in the entire game. But I would typically want to use it on a closer range map. So, the only thing I would change is also maybe the G18 Cobra. A Bushmaster, in my opinion, is a little bit better, just because of the better damage drop-off. Next up, Thomas Chan would play on Dark Forest. Wow, that's actually kind of unique. His gear would be a Cyclops bandana, US face guard, tiger stripe camo, recon vest, and modular backpack. So it looks like we're going near full speed gear here. The modular backpack obviously is going to take off, I believe, 5% uh, speed. And then your weapons, he has a Baron's M416 CQB revised, a USP Tactical SE, a tracker knife, uh, an HE frag, L115A2 Arctic Wolf, the Asphal, and a heartbeat detector with a P90TRSE. So, oh my gosh, he has a lot of weapons here. USP Tactical SE, very good idea for the Dark Forest. You have the Silencer, which is also very nice. I would not suggest the revised Barons, though. I would suggest the regular just simply due to the gold camo giving you away very, very quickly. The L115A2 Arctic Wolf, I would suggest a Silent Sniper if you're looking for a... Uh, for a uh, sniper, so maybe the regular Arctic Wolf would be better, maybe you're looking for the higher magnification scope, in which case you might be better off with a WA-2000, not customized to the tactical. And uh, the heartbeat detector is very, very smart, although I typically prefer to just sway my mouse with the uh, uh, cursor and then just try to get people with their name tags. P90 TRSC is also very, very useful. I typically prefer shotguns on that map, but P90 TRSC is also very solid. Transform CA says oil rig with no gear whatsoever, with an L9 Arctic Wolf and M9 and a USP. So it looks like this guy is going full CGL. Definitely gotta respect that. I'm not big into CGL, so I don't want to review this one. Just seems very solid to me. Daniel Wilson says he wants an M4A1 CQBR, M16A3 champion, L9 Gilly, M9 2FS champion, M9 champion, and the MP5 Ross with an HE grenade on Overdose. Also a very interesting map. Very solid assault rifle, very useful in a lot of different situations, long range, whatever. And then he has all of his champion gear. That's just fun to play with, I would assume. I've never really used the M16A3 champion myself, obviously. I'm not a GOA yet. The L9 Gilly is an excellent sniper if you know how to use it. I certainly don't, so I don't feel like it's my place to revise, to kind of review that. But the MP5 Ross is certainly a solid SMG to use on Overdose, the close-range combat scenarios. 
very, very useful. Next in line, we have Jonathan Thompson playing on Sandhog, another CGL map, except he has a Declan's F2K, an American Eagle, a basic M67 frag grenade, an old glory knife, that's also interesting, first person I don't have a tracker or a regular M9, and an AA-12 Dominator. Now, I actually know very little about the Dominator. I know the regular AA-12 is a fine shotgun, but there are a lot better than it, so hopefully the Dominator improved upon that quite a bit. Overall, I would not want to use a shotgun on Sandhog. A lot of other weapons I'd rather use. I'd rather have a sniper if you have an assault rifle as your other primary. But the Declan's F2K is certainly a solid assault rifle. It's good for close range and can tap fire very well at medium and long range, so certainly usable. The Desert Eagle, I assume, the American Eagle, is just a fun weapon to use, I guess. Um, as far as feasibility, it's a little more feasible on Sandhog than some other maps, simply because of the ranges that you want to use it at, and the kind of peaking and head spots that you have to use, so it's a little more feasible than maybe other maps, but I would still want to use a USP. Kyler Alcock says he wants to play on Costa Recon, another interesting map that's one of my favorites actually. He would have a shotgun and Mexus face guard, similar to me, a tiger stripe camo, recon vest, and veteran backpack, so pretty much the same setup as me, but he wants a Parafel with an iTech scope, I know for a fact he is very very highly ranked with headshots, with that weapon, so that's probably the reason he wants to use it. Don't blame him. He has a USP Tactical SE, excellent choice, one of my favorites, a tracker knife, obviously what I use, and an HE frag. I do prefer the frag pack, especially for Costa Recon, because you can cover more areas at long range with explosions, but then he has a SIG 50, and that is an excellent sniper, in my opinion, one of the top three in the game for sure. Excellent sniper. Um, I wouldn't suggest too many changes for this. I would still prefer the frag pack over the HE frag, but that's not really anything else I'd be willing to change. These are excellent setups. Um, Legit Pride CA says he wants a tracker knife, Kill Creek melee only. He just wants the Grim Reaper of knifing. It looks like he has a second post on the page, so sounds like he has a couple of different possibilities. But he is quite highly ranked with the tracker knife, so I can totally understand that. Mark Mafood, I hope I pronounced your name right. Kill Creek only, sniper only with a TPG1 Master and M200 Ghillie. Two silent snipers makes a very nice combo. However, neither of the two weapons has particularly fast spread recovery, so you better be quick switching a lot. And with the M200's draw rate, you might be very careful with that. So, just be very careful when you're using that setup, although it is a fun setup to use, I wouldn't consider it such a feasible setup. You're better off with two weapons that quick switch better, like the two TPG Pro and the regular TPG-1. Next up, we have Shakir, Messi, McLord, McLord, I totally just tripped my tongue over that. Anyway, it's McLord from my clan. Since you said for the rest of my life I have to use both of my setups in one, a uh, three slot backpack with a TBG1, Tango 51, M417 Tau SB, Bushmaster, the default M9 knife, and an HE grenade on Kill Creek Elim. Well, that's a pretty good setup. It's very good for long range. I wouldn't want to rush with that, but if I had to rush, the TPG-1 and Tango are excellent weapons to have. If I was going to rush with snipers, I would swap the TPG-1 and the SV-98 since it performs closer to the Tango than the TPG-1 does, but obviously I chose the M417 Tau SB myself, so I obviously wouldn't want to change that. So, excellent choice. And that's all that I have for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Post your own setup in the description below. Don't forget to drop the name of the map that you'd like to play on for the rest of your life. And I will see you guys in the next video. Shadowlance out. Round start. Double kill. Round start.